Hey friends! So today I am reviewing the Beatles gel polish kit. So if you are interested in checking this gel polish kit out, um, I will definitely put the link in the description bar down below. And then stay tuned and I will do a manicure with you guys and then we'll test it out together. So this is the kit. Let's kind of a uh, look at it. It's about, less, it's about maybe 10 inches wide. Um, so it is called the Beatles Gel Polish Kit, and let's go ahead and open it. There's a smiley face when you lift the flap. I think that's really cute. He's like, hello, nice to see you. Actually, he's probably like, you should be happy because you have a gel polish kit. Then you lift the flap, and we have an application guide, and I'm going to do this um, manicure like I've never done a manicure before. So I am going to follow directions and I'm going to pretend I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and we'll see if the directions um, are exactly what they should be. So there are some frequently asked, question, asked, asked questions on here as well. So that's good. Then this is a little manual for the lamp itself because there is a lamp in the box. So it does look like there's one button on top and one button is 90 seconds because I do think with the smaller lamps they suggest using 90 seconds because they're not as powerful. Here is the manicure set that comes with the kit. Let me slide this back a little bit so we're not so zoomed in. So I think I, I did a little bit of an overview of this in my haul video, but I'll just go through it again. So there are toe separators, so if you decide you wanna do like poly, gel polish on your toes, I've never actually done gel polish on my toes. I need to try that, because I bet that would last forever. Okay. There's a little brush to brush away the dust after you've filed. There's oh, a buffer. So it's just a cute little pink buffer to buff the nail. There's a cuticle cutter, which again, I've never used one of these. They are very sharp. Um, we'll see what they tell you to do with this. That might be interesting. Um, yeah. There's cuticle oil. I'm gonna smell this cuticle oil. It's got a very fine, like almost a fruity bubblegum flavor of some kind. So that'll be good. Um, there is a file, a 100 over 180 grit file. So definitely a strong file. Cuticle pusher. And your fingernail clippers. So that's in the manicure kit. Then we have the polishes. So we have a top coat, a glossy top coat, a matte top coat, and a base coat. Um, I don't really need to open those. <laughs> we do have the gel polishes. So this is 411. It looks like it's a purple glitter. Very pretty. This one is 412. 412, nice, nice dark, like a purpley mauve almost. This is a 413. This is like a little bit of a lighter purple. And this is 414, which is a nice deep, like eggplant. I am gonna go ahead and swatch these once I get my lamp out, just so I can see the colors and I can decide where I wanna place them on my nails. But before we do that, Here's the lamp. So it's a cute little pink lamp um, with a USB cord. You will need the plug. So that is not something that it comes with. Um, if you have a phone, you have a plug. So <laughs> that really shouldn't be a big deal for anyone. All right, so I'm gonna go get a plug and we will test this out. One thing to note, the cord isn't super long, 
So hopefully you will have a spot to plug it in close to your table where you're working. I'm gonna plug it in. Uh -huh. It'd help if I plugged it in the right way. So there are like six little um, lights. So it's not a super bright lamp. I'm going to use this one today though instead of my big lamp because we're testing the kit. And it's not a full test if you're not using the lamp that it comes with. All right, so I'm gonna leave the lamp. <laughs> it's so light, like it's just getting pulled all over the place. So I'm gonna leave the lamp here. I'm going to do some swatches. So I got my swatch sticks over here. And for those of you who are wondering, this kit was $23.99 on Amazon. Um, and it's actually on sale, like $16. So, I mean, there, there's other kits that are about the same price. The Model 1s is about the same price. So if you wanna try different comp brands, there are definitely more out there. This is just the one that I chose to test for you guys. So hopefully it goes well. <laughs> All right, so this is 411. This is the sparkle. I'm just gonna swatch it on my stick here. It's a very thick, very, very thick glitter. I'm actually gonna put this underneath because I don't want to ruin my mat. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to swatch, let me put the lid on this before I spill it. I'm going to swatch the next one. This is the 412. I haven't been super into purple lately. I don't know if anybody else likes purple, but I, I used to not like be a big fan, but for some reason my personality has decided I like purple again. Ooh, I like how opaque that went on in one coat. That's very nice. So that's 412. Then I'll swatch 413. We'll see how I decide to do <laughs> my manicure with this. That one wasn't quite as opaque, it was a little bit more sheer, if anyone was curious. And then we'll do 414. This is a really pretty eggplant purple. I also love that this thing is so portable, so I will plan on taking, I am planning on taking it to Iowa on the airplane with me. Um, my sister-in-law also, I think she'd be interested in something like this, so I kind of want to see if she likes it, and I might just gift it to her. I don't know, I will see how I feel. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna go ahead and hit it. It says one click 90 seconds. I'm going to check the directions really fast on these polishes. I'm pretty sure they are actually 60 seconds for the polishes. It says 60 to 90 seconds. We'll go ahead and I'll keep track on my phone because there is no countdown clearly. Um, I'll keep track on my phone and we'll see how much time I think I might need. If See if I doubt 60 seconds is gonna be enough because it's such a tiny lamp. But we'll check, we'll check. So let me get 60 seconds pulled up on my, my clock here. I'm trying to hit these at the same time here. So I'll shut that off, it's been 60 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and do a fingernail test. So it's definitely mostly cured, but it looks like the sides are not quite done, which makes sense because there aren't any lights on the sides. So I am gonna go ahead and put it in there for another 
30 seconds and then we'll see how it does. I'm gonna move these closer to the middle. Maybe that'll help. We'll see. All right, reset my timer. I'm gonna set it for 30 seconds or let it count to 30 seconds this time. All right, so that's 30 seconds. Should be cured. Oh yeah, that's very cured. Nice. Okay, so I'm excited about this lamp. That's, I mean, look at how that compact that thing is. That's like the same thickness as my cell phone almost. Um, so this is definitely a very portable lamp. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna do a manicure. Sorry about my background there, I'm sliding around. And I think I'll do like an accent nail with the glitter. Maybe, let's see. I really do like these two colors together. I like those a lot. Um, maybe I'll do to decide what I want to do. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm just gonna do these two colors today. So at least you've seen the swatches so you can see all the other colors. And I Don't get me wrong, I love the other colors, but the swatching, I just don't feel like being that complicated with my nails today. So those are the other two swatches. If you're curious, this one's kind of a jelly almost actually, I just realized um, on a clear nail. It's kind of sheer, which is kind of fun. All right, so let's pull out the directions for the manicure, the application guide. So it's very tiny. Let me zoom in here so you can see it. So it says clip nails to desired length. Um, <laughs> my nails are kind of all over the place. I did, this one is pretty ragged. I did just break it. I have, a, I have a baby. And so I try and keep my nails somewhat trimmed down because I don't want to gouge him. So I will go ahead and just give this one a little trim because it says to, because he did, I did break him. Um, but I think the rest of them, they just need filed. So I'm gonna leave them be. It says file, shape, and buff nails. So if you are a novice, that is not going to be a lot of um, indicator as to what to do. If you've been to a um, salon, you're gonna know what to do, I guess, because you've seen it, but there's not really much helpful hints either. So unless you take care of your nails on a regular, on a regular basis, this might be something that you're not going to be very good at. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I don't really know what I'm doing, but I kind of know what I'm doing. We'll be like in between, I guess. So let me get my file. I'm gonna file and shape my nails. It says I'm gonna zoom out a little bit for this so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna do this hand over here. And I have a rounder nail bed, so I keep my nails rounder. Although I really like the look of coffin, but mine, I mean, they're not long enough to do much else with. So I'm just gonna keep them round today. they're not buffed. So now I'm gonna get my buffer. It says file, shape, and buff the nail. So I'm just gonna buff them. But as a novice, I wouldn't know how much to buff. So I'm just gonna do a little bit because I really don't wanna damage my nail too much. fair. Um, I'm going to give it a decent buff just so I know 
how to, if I'm testing it appropriately. So I'm gonna make sure I'm getting up to my nail beds really well before I do that. I'm going to take my thing and brush my nails off. Um, oh, it says to trim your cuticles first. Actually, it says to push back your cuticles first. So I'm gonna go ahead, push my cuticles back. I'm going to attempt, attempt to use this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I guess it gets down in there. I'm so afraid I'm gonna damage my cuticle bed. Or my nail bed, I mean. My fresh cuticles. So unless you know what you're doing with this tool, I would not recommend using it. Um, I think if anything, it's torn my cuticles up more. <laughs> so that wasn't very pretty. Now it says to go ahead and brush your fingers off, I guess. Dust your nails off. Then it tells you to apply the base coat. Okay, then it says to cure it for 60 to 90 seconds. We just learned that we're gonna do 90 seconds. I'm gonna have to do my thumb separately because it's not gonna fit. All right, then it says to apply the color gel. So I'm going to do 413 on all of my nails, except my ring finger nail, my accent finger. Um, well, I'll actually I'll put the purple under it. If you have longer nails than me, you do need to make sure you cap the nails. Um, I cap them and then I just run my fingernail underneath it, wipe it off. Um, I just use a, a lint-free wipe. Okay, so that is one layer. So hopefully you know not to get this on your skin because if you do, it will cure to your skin and it will lift. Um, so definitely keep it off your skin. I try not to even go, I don't even go all the way to the wall of my finger. Um, and if I do, you could go in with this piece. Um, this is the other end of the cuticle pusher and just kind of clean it up. Or you can use your fingernail and then wipe your fingernail off your, on your other hand. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat on all my nails, my ring finger, on my ring finger, I'll put glitter. Okay, next direction says 
apply your top coat. So maybe we'll test, I'll do like matte on these fingers and glossy on my ring finger. All right, so we'll do glossy on the ring. I'll just go ahead and do that now. And then we'll do matte on the others. All right, and now it says just to apply cuticle oil. So I'll get my cuticle oil pen. Make sure I get up the sides because my cuticles are in rough shape. says it's it. So, I mean, it's got cuticle oil on it, but we'll test it out, see how long it lasts. I think it's really pretty. I love the colors. You can kind of, let me see if I can focus, there we go. Um, so far, I am very impressed by this kit. The lamp cures very well. I will say one thing, um, the matte top coat did have a little bit of a heat spike, um, so just be aware of that. It was a l slightly painful, not bad. Um, not, I wouldn't say painful, just like it was like, oh, that didn't feel great. So that's just one thing to make note of. So yeah, I am very impressed by this. I will check back in a few days and see how the polish is holding up um, and we'll hopefully It'll be really impressive and I can recommend this kit to you because as of right now, I am loving it. Sadly, I deleted the clip showing my nails a week and a half later. So this is all we have to look at. Um, but as you can see in this little clip that there isn't a lot of chipping that has happened and I went hard on my nails. So I would highly recommend this gel polish kit to anyone, especially those who are interested in doing gel manicures at home. It's a great, cheap, affordable, but durable way to do it. And the product is amazing. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more videos in the future and be sure to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.